Know you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin Hi everybody, welcome to Proverbs Home. This is Word of Encouragement Sunday and today I really don't have an encouragement for you that I thought about, about bringing to you. All I can say is be encouraged. Be encouraged. If you're discouraged today, you're seeing lots of things on the news, things that are bothering you, be encouraged that you're not alone. Be encouraged that you're going to be okay, that everything is going to work out. Do the best that you can do. Trust God with whatever you're going through. But most of all, be encouraged. I think sometimes we get very discouraged and um, we just see everything going on around us. Things maybe that we don't like that we're seeing that's going on. Things that we watch on the news, whatever it may be. Um, and we get very discouraged and we worry about tomorrow. We worry what we're going to do if this happens or that happens. That actually happened to me the other day. No pun intended. The other day, I was fine all day. And then I watched something, and as soon as I watched it, automatically I felt that fear, right? I felt that worry. It was more of a worry, like automatically my heart. I was just like, what if? And then I realized, wait a minute. God has not told me to be fearful. He said, I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind, of love, power, and a sound mind. As soon as I thought about that, that fear was like subsided. And I was like, okay, Lord, that's right. I'm not supposed to fear. So I'm here to tell you, be encouraged. If I can tell you anything for the whole week is to trust God. Don't worry. Be encouraged. Know that he's with you, that he loves you, but you have to put your trust in him. If you don't put your trust in him, um, that won't be good. You got to put your trust in him. And I'm here to also say thank you to all my new subscribers. We are at a thousand, over a thousand, a little over a thousand now subscribers. I cannot believe it. I know. I cannot believe it, but I thank all of you because it is because of my friends and my subscribers that we are at a thousand subscribers. It is because of all of you. And, um, you know, I try to put out the best content that I can. I want my content to be encouraging, showing love, um, trying to help others, homemaking most of all. I love homemaking. I love taking care of my home. I love prepping. I love buying books. I love hauling and showing you what I found on discount. All those great things. And sometimes I make those videos that are like just serene and nice and just kind of like a, a little snippet of my life. So that's the kind of videos I love to share. And I like to share videos that are fun and that we enjoy. And most of all, this Word of Encouragement Sundays means so much to me to be able to share with you because I truly do, from the bottom of my heart, want you to be encouraged. I do pray for my subscribers. I do pray. When I say I'm praying for you, but you ask me for prayer, I don't need to know what it is because God already knows what it is. But I can always pray for my subscribers and ask God to take care of you, to watch over you wherever you are, wherever you may be. And Elijah's right here, which he's been part of our videos, right? He's been a big part of our videos. If you see his little ears right there. It is beautiful out today. It is an absolutely beautiful Sunday out here. I cannot believe it, how gorgeous it is. And that's one reason I'm sitting out here in my greenhouse because you're not gonna see much of the greenhouse coming in a few weeks because then we have to take it down. This is an area where we get a lot of snow. We live in the mountains, basically in the hills. We get a lot of snow here. So you can't leave a greenhouse, not a greenhouse like this. Because the last one I left, the first one I got, first greenhouse, like this that I got, I left it up throughout the winter and it tore my entire greenhouse down, which wasn't very feasible for me to do that. However, I learned from it, so now I just take it down and then I just put it back up come springtime. Now, I want to show you this book. We stopped by Ollie's the other day. My husband and I were out and we were coming home and it was evening time and we saw Ollie's on our way on the highway. And I'm like, Ollie! So we decided to go by Ollie's and stop there. And I found this great book. It's called Marmy, a Novel of Little Women. Oh, I was so happy when I found this book. Who else gets happy when they find a good book that they really like and they're really going to enjoy reading? I am one of those people. Yes, I am a nerd. I do admit it and I'm proud of it. <laughs>
on my way home from church, I did buy me some peppermint mocha creamer for my coffee because I like having that for the winter and for the fall. And I did buy some pumpkin spice creamer. So I got those two creamers that are gonna be for my coffee. So those are kind of like a prepping thing for us. I like to have creamers during the fall, during the winter that we can use and that we can enjoy. So I got some of that. What else did I get that was prepping? I got a couple of cans of soup for prepping because I think it's important, like I said, to put those things away and have a few cans of soup that you can use or, you know, whatever it is that your family enjoys. So that is it for today, for Sunday. Be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Trust God. Trust Him. He is. He never leaves us. He never leaves us. No matter what we go through, we have these hard times we go through. But He's always there with us. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Talk to everyone in the next video. God bless you. See you soon. Bye. You've been a good friend, and that's in the thick and thin.